Hello everyone, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer here on this Saturday in the octave of Easter. Also as we go into our evening hour today, we're right on the uh, cusp of Divine Mercy Sunday tonight as uh, we celebrate evening Mass this evening will be the Vigil Mass for Divine Mercy Sunday, uh, first Sunday of Easter, but now uh, called by the name Divine Mercy Sunday, and uh, so that's a huge celebration tomorrow, so stay tuned for that one, please. Uh, today, uh, our first reading again, as I mentioned a few times already, we will be in the Acts of the Apostles for the whole 50 days of our Easter season. And in today's reading, it's the, still the continuation of that story of the man who was cured, who had been <clears throat> crippled from birth. And the uh, synagogue leaders were, uh, you know, they were almost speechless. They, they had no defense for, you know, their ways in sight of all the people who had seen this miracle of healing and heard and knew who had performed this miracle uh, through the name and power of Jesus Christ, Peter saying the words, the man was cured. And the Sanhedrin, you know, they, they had no recourse except just to tell John and Peter, look, shut up, okay? Don't, don't say anything else about this man. Don't use his name anymore. Of course, Peter and John said, well, whether it's right in God's eyes for us to obey him or you, you decide. But we can't be silent. They had nothing to hold them on, so they let them go. And they continue to, of course, teach and preach in the name of Jesus. And, of course, the birth of Christianity was mounting. So, praise be to God that these apostles were given the Holy Spirit and the power and the faith to be bold and stand up and proclaim the good news of the resurrection and the power of God through his son Jesus Christ. Our gospel today, this is Mark's account of the first day of Jesus' resurrection. Relatively short and to the point, talks about how Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene went to the apostles, told them they didn't believe her. The two men on the road to Emmaus came back, told the apostles they didn't believe them either. And then Jesus came. And, you know, we all know what he said and did. Peace be with you. Showed them his scars. Chastised them, according to Mark, for their unbelief. And then told them to get out there and proclaim the gospel to the world. The phrase that pops into my head, and it applies to us too, especially us who have 2,000 years of church teaching and miracles and just the Christian uh, faith growing and, and all the evidence we've seen throughout the centuries. The phrase I'm thinking about is, to whom much is given much is expected. Jesus gave everything to the apostles. And now he's telling them, put it to use. Go. Thank God they did. With a little prompting from the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. But they did. They went out and they spread Christianity throughout the then known world. Between all of them. And including Paul. So we have the beautiful beginnings of the Catholic faith 
Christianity being born into the world through these few people. And today, as Jesus commanded, every corner of the globe has been touched in some way by Christianity. So we praise God and we thank him. And for our part, we too are called to get out there and proclaim the good news. This is Easter. We sh our hearts are filled with joy at the resurrection. Can people tell that your heart is filled with joy? Are you an Easter person? Are you proclaiming the good news with not just words, but with the way you live? You know, are you a sourpuss? Or are you a joy-filled person? The joy of Christ, especially in this season, should dispel all gloom, all doubt, and all fear from our lives. Fill us with incredulous joy. So let's be happy. Let's be joyous. And let's spread the good news. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the Lord's tomb. Alleluia. The Lord's revelation to my master sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains. From the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever. A priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand. Will shatter kings in the day of his great wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside. And therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, we ask you to give us victory and peace. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and King, we are already seated at your right hand. We look forward to praising you in the fellowship of all your saints in our heavenly homeland. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, came to, the, to see the Lord's tomb. Alleluia. Come and see the place where the Lord was buried. Alleluia. When Israel came forth from Egypt, Jacob's sons from an alien people, Judah became the Lord's temple, Israel became his kingdom. The sea fled at the sight, the Jordan turned back on its course, the mountains leapt like rams in the hills, like yearling sheep. Why was it, see, that you fled, that you turned back, Jordan, on your course, mountains that you leapt like rams, hills, like yearling sheep? Tremble, O earth, before the Lord, in the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool and flint into a spring of water. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty God, ever-living mystery of unity and trinity, you gave life to the new Israel by birth from water and the Spirit. You made it a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a people set apart as your eternal possession. May all those you have called to walk in the splendor of the new light Render you fitting service and adoration. Come and see the place where the Lord was buried. Alleluia. Jesus said, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to set out for Galilee. There they will see me. Alleluia. Alleluia, salvation, glory, and power to our God. His judgments are honest and true. Alleluia. Sing praise to our God, all you his servants. All who worship him reverently, great and small, alleluia. The Lord, our all-powerful God, is King. 
Let us rejoice, sing praise, and give him glory. Alleluia. The wedding feast of the Lamb has begun, and his bride is prepared to welcome him. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Jesus said, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to set out for Galilee. There they will see me. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people he claims for his own to proclaim the glorious works of the one who called you from darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were no people, but now you are God's people. Once there was no mercy for you, but now you have found mercy. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia. After eight days, although the doors were locked, the Lord came among them and said, Peace be with you. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich. He has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. After eight days, although the doors were locked, the Lord came among them and said, Peace be with you. Alleluia. In rising from the dead, Christ destroyed death and restored life. Let us cry out to him, saying, Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. You are the stone rejected by the builders, which became the chief cornerstone. Make us living stones in the temple of your church. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. You are the faithful and true witness, the firstborn from the dead. Make your church bear constant witness to yourself. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. You alone are the bridegroom of the church, born from your wounded side. Make us reveal to the world the love of bridegroom and bride. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. You are the first and the last. You were dead and are alive. Keep those who have been baptized faithful until death, that they may receive the crown of victory. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Light the lamp of God's holy city. Shine on our friends who have died, that they may reign forever. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God of mercy, you wash away our sins in water. You give us new birth in the Spirit and redeem us in the blood of Christ. As we celebrate Christ's resurrection, increase our awareness of these blessings and renew our gift of life within us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, 
God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, splendid, mercy-filled weekend, not only receiving God's mercy, but giving it away. God bless you all. Have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow.